Hi, my name is Tom Shu, and today I'm going to show you guys how to deal with focus stacking. Now, what is focus stacking? Well, it's stacking focus. <laughs> okay, so how this works is if you were to try to take a picture of this hibiscus, for example, you could get all of the detail down on the inside of the flower, no problem. But you could never have enough depth of field in your lens, even if you stop down the aperture, say f22, to get the top of the flower, these little um, pollen pistils or whatever I believe they're called. Okay, so you can see this image, all those pistils are sharp, but the inner portion of the flower is not. Okay, so I made four pictures, and we're not going to try to focus stack all four, but basically it's uh, I picked the best two. The best inside flower, which is this one, and then the best pistil area, which is this area. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to control, click, and select both of them. Now control is command on a Mac, so command, click both of them. And you're going to choose right click and edit in Photoshop. But we're going to open uh, as layers in Photoshop. So I'm going to pause it and let it do that. Okay, it's loading them up in the layers in Photoshop. Okay, so now we have them both in layers. Now, you can see that I didn't shoot off a tripod, and they're a little bit misaligned. So that's pretty easy to fix. So you want to shift-click both or select both of them. After they're both selected, you want to go to Edit, whoop, Edit, and Auto-Align Layers. We'll just choose the Auto under the projection for this particular tutorial, and let it think, and it will do that for us. Okay, and you see that it did crop off a little bit of the image, but they're both lined up. Okay, so you'll have to select your base image. And just remember, we're going to be cropping some of that off. So we can just do that right now, just so that's not something that's going to be concerning for any of you. So say if we wanted maybe this to be our crop, let's move in a little further. And say if we chose something like that. Now we've cropped them, we didn't lose any information. So let's go back to our selection tool, and now there's nothing jumping around except what moved in the background. The flowers are perfect. So let's zoom in close so we can see what's happening here. So you can see that the bottom image has the great information on the top, and the top image has the bottom. So I'm going to switch these. I'm going to move this one to the top. Because I want that... Uh, sharp area of the pistol to be at the top and let's zoom into 100 percent so we can see well it's 118 so you can see it's pretty sharp so now it's just a simple matter of adding a layer mask if you hold down the alt key and that's the option key on a mac we'll hide that layer okay and we'll just concentrate on painting in just the area in the top so let's zoom back a little bit we'll grab our paintbrush we're going to be painting in white notice our mask is black okay and we'll just paint in the detail that was sharp in focus on these pistol areas. Now I'm not going to take a lot of time here because this is a tutorial. Just paint all this in real quick. And if you want to see where you're painting on your mask, you hit the backslash area. So you can see that I went a little bit over there. So I'm going to hit the X key, and I'm going to come in and fix any of my overlap that I may have done outside of my selection. So that's roughed in pretty good. Let's get this top one here. Okay, so we hit the backslash to get rid of the mask overlay. Okay, and now you can see the before and the after. Let's zoom back out a little bit. And you can see that now we have a sharp inner portion of the flower and a sharp outer portion of the flower. So we could flatten the image and hit Control S, save it back in the Lightroom. And you see we have a fourth flower now. Except this one's focused on the top of the flower and at the base of the flower. So then you just process your image the way you want. 
to say we click on auto tone just to get it an idea what might happen there. So that didn't do anything. Let's back off. Let's go into the develop module and we'll take care of this one real quick. So we'll come in here and we'll set a black point. Maybe something like that. We'll deal with our whites. We don't have any whites. So we could deal with our shadow detail. Let's darken this up just a little bit. And our highlights, maybe we take that off. We'll grab our exposure and bring it all up as a brightening. Put a little bit of clarity on it, a little bit of vibrance, and maybe a post crop vignette. Something like this. Maybe make it a little bit more round. Feather the highlights. And there you go. That could be your image. I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today. And until next time, we'll see you soon.